so I had mentioned before that I only ever played like the so that there was some DLC I hadn't played. So last time I mentioned that I'd not played from Ashes before, so I'd finally gotten to play that <clears throat> for the first time. See Javik. And that the other two I hadn't played were Omega and Leviathan. So we are about to start up Omega. I'm super psyched for this because I really love Aria. Um, <clears throat> and it's, I don't know, I just felt she, I didn't get to see enough of her before. So, let's see, I actually just saved, so. So we are going into the Purgatory Bar to talk to one Aria Tloak. three weeks to figure it out. I don't care who you are. You're required to go through processing like all other refugees. Come with me. I don't think so. Shirk, get me the Asari counselor. I believe this one interaction is what started the Tevos Aria ship. Greetings, Aria. Is there something you need? I could be wrong. I'm being asked to submit to immigration processing. Of course you are. Nothing. Thank you. My pleasure. I think we're done here. <laughs> Enjoy the show, Shepard? I guess there's one rule on the Citadel, huh? I guess so. I hate this place. You know who voice that's Carrie Ann Moss Tight. of Matrix fame. Then why are you here? Cerberus stole a mega from me, the elusive So say we all. I mean, I understand that for the case of some of the quests, there would be no game if you didn't do any of these quests. But there are some little tiny side quests where it's like, you know this could all be solved with communication, right? <laughs> God forbid we all talk to each other like mature adults. Matriarch hired by the Asari government to track my movements? She's your father. I know. You know? I'm a very good information broker. And you can tell me how Asari reproduction works. Wait. Wait. I have a half sister, sister who's part Hanar? I thought that wasn't how it worked. Athena is so blunt. I love her. That's not true. Shepard listened to me. And how many times have you thrown her on the bed and peeled her out of her skin? Do you have to make it sound so tawdry? If it's all civilized. You're not doing it right. It's fair. Confirm. I'm excited because I've not played Omega yet. And I love Arya. Of course, I should totally specify part of the reason I love Arya is there's this, um, there's this fanfic series called The Best Entertainment. Um, really, really great series. Uh, and there's this one fic in the series, Conflict of Interest, that it follows the events, I mean, after all the games, but also it's like the repercussions of Omega, of this DLC, which of course I'd never played and I okay. kind of know about. But Greek commander Shepherd. Let me without my autograph book. Save it. Just take me to Aria. Guess that asshole really did upgrade Omega's outer defenses. So it would seem. So long as the pods can get in. That's a very generous interpretation of- Oh yeah, the soundtrack for uh, Mass Effect in general is amazing. There's this, um, oh, there's this uh, artist called Maluka, who, um, a musician, who, um, 
actually, she wrote a song called Reignite, and she did it by taking snippets of various um, sound, like various parts of the Mass Effect themes. Like, um, so I guess you could say like the bait, like the bass, the, the intro, and kind of the background is leaving Earth. Um, and then, you know, like, there's parts from I Was Lost Without You. Uh, what is it? Something for the Krogan. Yeah, but it's really, it's a Getting beautiful close. song, Those too. To be it's called Reignite. Um, but yeah, she basically took snippets from different themes and wove them into a song. This way. Great singer, too. Absolutely gorgeous voice. And kind enough to put the guitar chords online. So. Sniper, no sniping! I've been waiting forever to make that joke. Asshole. See, this is how I know this guy's an asshole. He likes chess. I can't see a chessboard anymore without thinking actual people. Not even troops, but people. And it's because of assholes like him who, uh, you know, who you know, manipulate people it, it, uh, just to suit their own ends, you know, and to unironically love chess. It's just... No offense if you like chess, I just... I like Viking chess, never toffel, but regular chess, just no. Yeah, but see, Sirius, you're a decent human being. I'm talking about, like, the arrogant assholes who like chess. And also, I've watched you play Command & Conquer 3. You have a brain for that. Like, a str you, you have a strategic brain for actual strategy, as opposed to the manipulation of people type of strategy. Because I feel like there's two kinds of chess players. There are those who appreciate it for the strategy, and then there are those, you know, again, the arrogant assholes who are like, I manipulate people like the pieces on the board. And it's like, shut up, sit down, go home. The chess master is an established trope with villains. Gee, can't fucking imagine why. Just adds to my abject hatred of chess. That is the symbol of the Talon mercenaries. I know that symbol. Looks like a gang tag. The Talons. They used to deface my property too. I know too much. Stand still, you piece of shit. <laughs> oh my god, Arya saying what's on my mind every time I uh, put up the sniper rifle scope up. Hold the fuck still! Oh no! Not the couch! Yeah, I figured you were the uh, other viewer and just hadn't been saying anything. If you're anything like me, you've got the stream going in one in one monitor, and you're doing something on the other monitor. Talk to me. Great. And it's just turned into a horror survival game. Oh, I see. Oh, there's the couch! Excellent. Eric, found what you wanted. Sending you the coordinates now. Is that my couch? <laughs> Poor Aria. My couch. Uh, yeah, I didn't even see the crumpled body, so yeah, I'm. I did, that was just how important Arya's couch is. 
It is the couch from which she rules afterlife. The tone in her voice. Is that my couch? <laughs> like, you took my station, but now it's really personal. Oh god, I really hope it auto saves when I released Aria. Otherwise, I'm gonna be mad. Like, really mad. You sons of bitches. No, get out of my way. Hell no, hell no, hell no. From what I understand, high ranking of Now that I've seen what you're capable of firsthand, maybe Arya's instincts were right. So, you're going to execute me. Yes, as a matter of fact, I am. Risky to let him live. Huh. Look who's the hard ass now. Priceless. Bray, clean up this mess. Yes, I'm a little paragon, but I finally I've added a fourth renegade interrupt that I will I'm always take. To think you were rubbing off on me, Shepherd, but maybe it was the other way around. You will ever threaten my domain. Mostly renegade options show no mercy, get a kiss from Arya to Loke. Nice. Guess I wasn't renegade enough. <laughs> <laughs> 